Hi there and welcome in this new video about Apache Airflow and actually about the new version of Apache Airflow which just came out this month which is the 1.10.10 and uh, in this video I would like to focus on an improvement that I've been made which is related to variables indeed if you remember or maybe you did not know it each time you fetched a variable from the previous version of Apache Airflow, a connection was created to the Metastore in order to get back the value. But le let me begin with the schema so that it will be uh, clearer for you. So let's create like, like a DAG like that. So let's name it DAG. And a Metastore, the Metastore of Airflow, right there. Okay, so let's name it Me store okay now in this DAG we let's say we have like a variable with the key my underscore var so here in this DAG we try to fetch the value of the variable with the key my underscore var from the metastore so in the metastore we will have a variable my underscore var with let's say the value 5 like that okay now the DAG will be triggered every minute so the schedule interval will be equal to one minute okay what will happen is that each time the DAG will be triggered it will try to, to fetch my underscore var from the metastore and to do that a connection will be created so like that okay so each time the DAG will be triggered a connection will be created in order to fetch the value from the metastore the problem is as you can imagine if we have like I don't know like many many variable or maybe like three variables like that with um, my underscore var two and my underscore var three and here again we will have like my underscore var my underscore var two and my underscore var three where my underscore var var2 will be equal to 6 and my underscore var3 will be equal to 7 well each time the DAG will be triggered three connections will be created so as you can imagine if you have like many DAGs with many variables you will end up with many connections to your metastore and so this and so the metastore of airflow can end up with a lot of troubles and it's not really optimized to, to have so many connections. Well, in the new version of Apache Airflow, there is like a new layer between your DAG and the Metastore, which is the environment variables. So basically, instead of trying to fetch the variables directly from the Metastore, it will first try to fetch them from the environment variables. So instead of having this kind of link, you will first have like, let's say for my underscore var, it will first check if the environment variable with the name my underscore var exists. And if so, then the variable, then the value of the variable will be returned. If not, then Apache Airflow will try to fetch it from the Metastore. By doing this, the number of connections made has been significantly reduced. By doing this, the number of connections needed to fetch your variables is significantly reduced. Okay, enough of theory, let's move to the practice. For this video, I already made a very simple DAG which implements only one task using the Python operator, as you can see there. This operator will call the function display underscore variable and this function here will only try to fetch 
the variable my underscore var from the metastore of Airflow and print it to the standard output. Also, in order to run Airflow, we will use Docker and Docker Compose, so these tools must be installed on your computer. Indeed, if you take a look at the file docker-compose.tml, you can see the different services in order to run Airflow, such as the metastore, which is based on Postgres, the web server, as well as the scheduler. Notice also that I'm using the official Docker Airflow image which has been released since Airflow 1.10.10. As it is not a video about how to set up Airflow using Docker and Docker Compose, I'm not gonna explain how this file works but if you want to learn more about it, feel free to tell me in the comment section. Oh and by the way, if you want to download all of these files, just go to the GitHub repository that I made for this video, add the following link which is marklomberti slash airflow dash docker dash compose and click on this button in order to either download the zip file or just clone the repository. That being said, let's move forward. Back to the code editor. Actually, what we are going to do now is to start airflow using docker and docker compose. So let's go to the terminal. Check that you are in the folder airflow dash docker dash compose with the following files and type docker dash compose dash f in order to specify the docker compose file that we are going to use starting the different containers which is docker dash compose dot yml up dash d in order to start everything in background enter okay as we can see the meta store the web server and the scheduler have been created so from another session let's check the containers by typing docker ps and as you can see we get the scheduler the web server and the metastore perfect if you don't have those three containers don't hesitate to stop the docker containers by typing docker dash compose dash f docker dash compose dot yml down by doing this, you stop all the containers that you previously started. And if you type up dash D again, you will create the different containers. So back to the other session, if you type Docker PS, we get the three containers as expected. All right, now let's go to the Airflow UI. From your web browser, open a new tab, and type localhost colon 8080. Enter. As you can see here, the DAG variable underscore DAG exists as expected. If we click on it, then go to the code, we have the same code as shown from the code editor. So the first step is to actually create the variable my underscore var to be able to fetch it from the DAG. To do this, go to admin, variables create so the key is my underscore var and let's put the value 5 for example click on save the variable was successfully created perfect go back to the DAGs turn on the toggle in order to schedule the DAG refresh the page as you can see a DAG run is running if we refresh the page again, the DAG run is finished. Go to the DAG, click on graph view, display underscore variable, view log, and as you can see here, the variable my underscore var has been displayed with the value five. If you go back to the code of the DAG, that corresponds to the instruction here. Perfect. Now let's try to fetch a new variable called my underscore var underscore two. So here we just put underscore two. And this time, instead of setting it in the metastore, we are going to set it in the environment variables. Just to show you that it doesn't work, save the file. Go back to the Airflow UI. Click on code. As you can see here, we got my underscore var underscore two, but still click on refresh in order to be sure that the DAG is refreshed. 
and trigger it again by clicking here. Now let's wait for the diagram to finish. Ok, as you can see the task failed, if you click on it, then go to view log. You can see here that the variable my underscore var underscore two doesn't exist as expected. Indeed, if we check into the variables of the Metastore, there is no variable named my underscore var underscore two. Alright, so let's create it in the environment variables of the container. Go to your terminal, type docker ps, then let's connect to the container running the web server of Airflow, type docker exec dash it, the id of the container, slash bin, slash bash. Now we are inside the container, in order to create the variable we only need to type export, then airflow, underscore var, underscore my, underscore var, underscore two, equal to six for example. Here, the thing that you have to keep in mind is that if you want to create a variable in your environment variables that will be taken into account by airflow, you have to prefix your variable with airflow underscore var. By doing this, you tell to Airflow that these environment variables should be considered as a variable that can be fetched from your DAX. Then you put another underscore with the name of your variable, my underscore var underscore two in our case, equals to the value you want. Now we can check that the variable has been created as expected by typing of pipe grep Airflow underscore var. And as you can see, we got the variable. Notice that Airflow won't be able to fetch it from your DAGs since this variable is only available from the current shell session. So in order to set it globally, let's go back to the code editor. Then in the docker compose file, we're gonna put the environment variable in both the scheduler and web server services. So go back to the terminal, copy the variable, then under the scheduler service, in the section environment, at the end, add a new line, like that. Pay attention to the indentation. Then do the same for the web server. Like that. Save the file. Go back to the terminal. Exit the Docker container by hitting Ctrl D. Then type docker dash compose dash f docker dash compose dot yml done. In order to stop all the Docker containers, then type docker dash compose dash f docker-compose.tml up-d Ok, let's wait a few seconds. Type docker-ps. Alright, as you can see, the scheduler, the web server, and the metastore are up. Go back to your web browser, refresh the page, go to admin, variables. As you can see there is no variables anymore. Go back to the DAGs. Click here to schedule the DAG variable underscore DAG. Refresh the page. Wait for the DAG run to finish. It's done. Click on the DAG. Grab view. Display underscore variable. View log. And as you can see here, Airflow successfully fetched the variable my underscore var underscore two from the environment variables instead of the metastore as usual. So that's how you can reduce significantly the number of connections created to the metastore and so avoid potential performance issues. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Airflow, 
feel free to check my course on Udemy by clicking on the link in the description. And I also have a Patreon page if you want to support my work and access to exclusive content such as tutorials about Airflow or big discount coupons on my Udemy courses. Feel free to join me. Have a nice day. See you. Take care. Bye bye.